Hi Aquarius, it's Nick and your fellow Aquarian puppy. Hope you guys are all doing well. We are back with another week and this time we're covering April 29th till May 5th. And this week, like I mentioned in the astrological weekly energies video, we do have Venus moving into Taurus and Mars moving into Aries where they're both home at. So I'm gonna get a message for those two energies so you can best uh, know and how you can best utilize it for your advantage, okay? And then we're going into your health, career work, finances, and love, romance, dating, or relationships. And don't forget, I'll have the link to the extended reading below in the description box if you're interested afterwards. All right, so let's get started. All right, Aquarius. So this is from my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. So for Venus, going into Taurus, how can Aquarius best utilize this to their advantage and make the most out of, enjoy the people, places, things that you love? For Aquarius. Oh, and these are cards that I haven't used here before, but they're not new to me. I just never use them. It's just basically uh, like the different planets, uh, signs, moon phases, asteroids. All right. So you guys got Saturn. All right. So actually for you guys, for Venus moving into Taurus, I think that it's going to be uh, very beneficial for you guys to practice discipline and restriction in some way, shape or form. So this is going to help you to actually enjoy and do the things that you love by practicing more discipline and restriction in some area of your life okay so maybe if you don't procrastinate at work or at school and you get things done when you're supposed to do or you save enough money uh you don't splurge on certain things you'll be able to enjoy something else that you really love and uh, be able to have fun doing that or enjoy that okay it's like if you're um, you know, if you don't finish all your homework at school, then you don't have enough time to read a book or play a game or watch a movie later in the night. So if you can act disciplined and restrict yourself and, you know, with work, school, whatever, then you'll have more free time later to do the things that you love or spend time with your friends or family or go on a date, if that makes sense. So apply this to how you may find fit. So with Venus and Taurus, use Saturn, have some discipline, some control and restriction so that you can fully enjoy the things, people, places, things that you love. Okay. All right. Now let's see what's going on for Mars moving into Aries. How can Aquarius best utilize this um, to their advantage? So as far as your passions, your actions, how you initiate, be a leader, how can Aquarius best utilize Mars in Aries for them, for their uh, advantage? All right, nice. So you guys got the waning gibbous moon. So the waning gibbous moon is all about like sharing and um, kind of after you've already like went through the full moon, you're now, you now have reached clarity and now you can kind of maybe share the knowledge, share the insight, the uh, the information, the solutions that you found from, you know, the full moon illuminating things and bringing you clarity. So with Mars moving into Aries, with your passions, your actions, your motivations, it's going to be important you share this or maybe you, uh, uh, maybe if you work in a team, you don't feel like you have to do everything. You can share it. You can do work with others or whatever you're passionate about and you're, you've are you you've uh, completed or you've succeeded at, maybe share what you've learned. Share your tips and tricks with others so that they can cop, uh, maybe kind of copy you or replicate um, your process, okay? So however that resonates with you, share what you've learned or share the insight you have and um, that's gonna help you better become, or maybe become a better leader. But let's say you're like a manager or a leader or you have a company or something, the more you can share your insight, share what's important to you, the better off your business, your company is going to be and the more profit maybe you'll actually have and the more your workers, your employees will want to work and do the best. Does that make sense? So share, however that resonates with you. All right, so let's get into your reading, guys. Let's start with health. So for my Aquarians, 
when it comes to your health, you guys got the high priestess. So Pisces energy, maybe some of you have Pisces in your chart or your cusp, Aquarius Pisces cusp, or you're dealing with the Pisces energy overall when it comes to your health. So this week for your health, I think it's going to be important that you really read between the lines and you listen to your intuition and you, because I, I feel like your body could be speaking to you kind of indirectly, like directly, but indirectly through the senses, through that little feeling you get through, you know, that, you know, that unexplainable thing that's happening or that feeling that you experience that, you know, okay, something's up, but I don't know exactly. And you just got to like, listen to yourself. You got to listen to your body. You got to listen to your heart, listen to your intuition, but also keep things discreet and not share too much about what's happening until you maybe are more certain. But I feel like um, you're gonna have to use your intuition and know yourself better than others. Because even if you go to the doctor or whatever, like no one actually knows you better than you. You have to learn and pay attention, listen to your body, because sometimes your body will show you signs like, you know, maybe you get a headache, you maybe will start to realize, oh, it's probably because I'm dehydrated or I've been thinking too much or maybe I'm wearing my head, you know, um, my hair back too tight or something. Or, like there could be little things that your body will show you and you got to like pay attention to those little signs that may not be so direct, but it kind of is direct, but in like maybe an indirect way, if that makes sense. So pay attention to your emotions and how you're feeling. And, um, but also the little signs that you get that may not be so obvious, okay? Um, and your body will always tell you, will always kind of give you like a little warning, like, hey, like I'm overworked here, or I'm, you know, struggling here. And you just gotta like pay attention. So pay attention to those little details um, and uh, listen to that gut feeling that you, that you have this week, okay? All right. Um, and pay attention to your emotions, I, I would say as well. Like your emotions may be very important and will kind of tell you like, um, you know, you may get moody all of a sudden. You don't even know why you're moody. Like no one actually made you upset, but maybe it's that time of month for my ladies. So you can know like, oh, okay, I'm a little more sensitive right now. I'm a little more, okay, now I know. Let me not let my emotions get the best of me or, um, you know, take it out on people that don't deserve it. Okay. All right. And then when it comes to your uh, work, school, career, and finances, you guys got the king of crystals. Nice. So some of you could work with an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn, or maybe you have earth somewhere in your chart, or you could be a cusp, Aquarius uh, Capricorn cusp. But when it comes to your work, school, career, and finances, you got it going on. You are doing what you need to do and everything's working out probably really well because you're a boss, you're a leader, you're taking action, you're acting and you're doing things in a very responsible, diligent way, handling your duties, obligations, responsibilities. Um, it seems like here your money, your material, your resources could be doing really well. Maybe you're getting paid this week. Maybe your business is doing really well this week. Maybe you get good grades at school or you're, you, you did well in your exams. Um, finances are looking really, really good and abundance may be here or coming your way. As long as you continue to take action, you are leading, you're being responsible and you're doing what you need to do. So I feel like there's no issues here for the most part. Um, and I would just say, just keep handling your responsibilities and do what you gotta do. So if it's working, don't change it. And this could be a really great week for your finances, okay? All right, then when it comes to your uh, love, romance, dating, or relationships on your side, you guys got the Six of Crystals, um, Knight of Swords, and the Moon. So some of you could have Libra, Pisces, Libra and or Pisces somewhere in your chart. Then on this other side for this other person, this can be the past, present or future situation or all three, all of the above. You guys got the Eight of Swords, Six of Wands and the Knight of Wands. So as far as who you could be dealing with, um, it can definitely be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or maybe an air sign like yourself, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus, but it doesn't have to be. It could be any sign like I always say to you guys. It could just be the energy this person is embodying, playing out, or maybe be like a mixed match of one of those. All right. <coughs> so what's going on here? I feel like this week you're like almost paying it forward. Um, you're helping someone or helping almost like 
helping or giving back, giving help to someone or, well, I can't put it into words. Giving back and helping in a way that you wish someone would have helped you when you needed it. And you see that you see that situation or you see maybe the similar situation or how someone needs that and you want to step in and help this person because you were once in that position or you know what it's like and you wish someone would have helped you or you wish someone would have been there for you and that would have helped you tremendously so now it's like you're almost kind of even if someone didn't actually help you you're paying it forward because you realize how much that would have helped you in that moment so this person um, could be feeling really stuck, really um, down. Maybe they're dealing with health issues or mental health. Maybe they're feeling de de uh, like down, depressed, anxious, stressed, or they're thinking too much about the wrong things. Maybe they're spending too much time uh, thinking about their fears, their doubts, their insecurities, and it's affecting them. It's making them feel stuck. It's stop pro prohibiting them from like advancing and from taking action and from seeing that there's other possibilities. They're just like, oh no, I can't do it. And you know, they're like in this dark hole and you see that and you realize, you know, I've been there and I want to help this person because I know if someone would have like said a few things to me that I probably would have like, it would have helped me tremendously. So you're being very generous to this, towards this person, whether this is romantic, friend, family, whoever. You're being generous and you want to help. You want to give back. And you're like, you know what? You're okay. I got you. Like, look, th these are some things that I went through. And you're able to be, by the end of the week, you're able to be very open and vulnerable with this person um, because you see where they're coming from. And you just really, from a good place, you want to help. So they're dealing with some things that are making them feel stuck and mentally blocked, maybe dealing with blockages. So you want to um, help them and uh, do them a favor or be generous towards them. Maybe with money, maybe with words of wisdom, maybe with a favor that you do overall. And just that small act that you do, because I don't even feel like it's anything major. It could just be like, oh, you know what, I'll give you a ride or uh, here, you know, let me tell you a few things and maybe that help you or here you can read this book like it just may be something small that's not even a big deal or it takes too much of your time but it made such a big impact in their life in this moment when they needed it most that from that moment or very shortly after this person rises above they rise above that circumstance and they actually able to obtain and have and create more of a winner mentality a winner mindset and overcome their challenges overcome their hurdles and they actually feel like they uh more capable they feel more empowered more confident so something that you did something that you shared with them or you helped them with put them on the right track and now they were able to get their feet up you know get their you know stand up tall and uh recover from whatever it is that they were dealing with and so talking with them now um you see things are starting to move fast and this person maybe is thanking you or says you know what thank you you helped me by you paying attention to me and paying attention and seeing where i was struggling you helped me direct my focus and now i was able and i'm starting to pay attention to the right things and to my creativity my passions work and get my life back in order so thank you so much because now i'm able to pay attention to what matters and to the things that are gonna help me okay and so uh from that point on you guys are going to be talking maybe a lot more uh exchanging back and forth and um, you're able to really give a lot to this person in a short amount of time you're able to speak or give a lot of words of wisdom like very very quickly but in a short amount of time but makes a big impact and it happens very fast this could be a really fast like interaction or encounter and this person uh you your words um the words that you give them are very like logical uh bring a lot of truth honesty and now they how they show up and by the end of the week um how they're showing up in your life is that they're expressing passion and they're showing you like hey look this is what i'm doing uh this is what i'm getting started on i'm inspired to do this and so you see that big change and you may get emotional about it you might be like, wow, like that's so awesome. Like, ah, I'm so proud of you. Like, I'm so glad you're doing better. And you may have like a heart to heart moment with this person or get really emotional and be open and vulnerable with them because you see such a dramatic change and you see, you almost like see yourself in them. And you're like, oh, I'm so glad I helped you. I'm so glad 
you're doing well and it it makes me really happy to see you in a better place now so you may actually get emotional and start crying and just have a heart to heart with this person because you see just the change the transformation and how much impact maybe one little thing that you can do can make and now this person's passionate they're excited like yeah i'm ready to tackle the world and do this and just that you know energy i think has shifted everything for this person so it's really really beautiful just know that there's so much little things that you can do even just a smile or a few little words you could say to someone that can make a big impact and i feel like that is something that you may experience this week okay so let's continue this on and extend it and see where this person's overall energy is at so you can better identify understand them um, and see what they're thinking about how they feel about you what they don't want you to know that maybe you should know what their next next action will be towards you and then your advice at the end okay a bird just like almost like um uh looked like it was gonna like hit the window or something or like the screen part it's funny anyways so we'll continue on to extend it. Link will be below. I'll see you guys there. If not, I'll see you for your next reading. All right, take care. Bye.